Masha's Spooky Stories. Every child loves to tell amazing spooky stories. And I'm one of them. But all these stories are, how can I say, amazingly fake. But today I will tell you a horrible, spooky true story. This is about a boy who was so afraid to be so little. So here it goes. Once upon a time, in a kingdom 139 lands away, lived a tiny little prince. No, here I'm telling another fairy tale. This time I want to tell a real true story. In an ordinary building at an ordinary apartment, number 139, lived a little boy who was afraid because he was so little. If he was a big boy, he would not be afraid of anything. Because big boys are men already. And men are never afraid of anything. Well, of women, maybe. When you are so little, everything around you looks really big and scary. For example, the boy was really afraid that his mommy would put him in the bathtub and forget to turn off the water. The water would rise and rise until it turned into a gigantic ocean. The waves were raging and breaking into a storm. The boy was swimming, but he couldn't get out of the tub. He would finally end up at a deserted island somewhere. He would scream and shout so passing ships would see him. But he was so small that not even a telescope could find him. And unfortunately, captains don't have microscopes. The boy was also afraid of going out for a walk and in a moment of destruction, he stepped in a black and gooey tar. And unfortunately, everyone knows that tar is the number one enemy of little boys. If you are already big, you could just pull your foot out and keep going. But little boys aren't strong enough to step out or getting out of their shoes, because moms tie the shoelaces really tight. What if a roller truck comes? He was also afraid of riding the elevator alone, because he couldn't reach the button to his floor. He could only reach the second floor. Then he would have to take the stairs. The stairs are big and long, and he lives at the top floor. It would take him the longest time to get there. Maybe a whole year. By the time he gets home, he would be an old man. And what if he gets sick with a sore throat? And the only thing that could soothe it was strawberry jam. He would go to the kitchen and would try to open the refrigerator door. But it is just so big and heavy that he would need to sit on the floor and wait. He would probably die before getting the most needed strawberry jam. Or something even worse. He would finally get it open, but the jam jar would fall on top of him. The scariest thing of all is that when you're small, your parents will never get you an adult bike. Just imagine something else, having to ride your tricycle until you get married. Overall, it was very scary to be a little boy. Up to that moment, when he saw a small kitten on the street. It was extra tiny. A dog was chasing after it, and the kitten climbed up a tree to escape. So the boy got a stick and chased off the dog. He got the kitten and brought it home to live with him. At home, he poured the kitten some milk and put it to bed. Then he realized that being little wasn't that terrible. Especially when you have someone big and caring next to you. Now the kitten has the boy. And the boy has mommy and daddy, who praised him when they found out he had saved the kitten. And the boy grew up and became quite big. 
देख You know, once in a while, grown-ups get scared and spooked by some weird things too. There once was a nice grandmother who was afraid that her grandson wouldn't like her cooking. She was always coming up with new recipes to make him like her food. No matter what, her grandson would always dislike her food that she cooked for him. Is this porridge? No, 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 no. The grandmother gave him food. That was good. A nice red tomato. But the grandson yelled even louder. I don't want to eat your tomatoes. I don't like them. I want chocolate-covered tomatoes. And whoosh! He threw the tomato against the wall. The tomato stuck on the wall, then plopped down on the floor. And you know what was left on the wall? A huge red stain. So the grandson kept turning down all the food his granny cooked for him. And then he turned around and saw his granny was gone. Now the poor boy got a taste of a real scary nightmare. The boy was terrified. He wasn't used to staying home alone, and he screamed for his granny. Granny, please come back. I'm shivering with fear. But there was no answer, not a peep. Oh, 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 maybe that scary red dog sucked in my granny like a vacuum cleaner. That's what the boy thought, no reason at all. It was very quiet. Only the refrigerator was making weird sounds, as if it was alive and digesting something in its belly. The curtains were drawn. No light came in, and in the dark, the scary red spot dripped with tomato juice. The boy decided to wipe out that scary red dot, but then something in the kitchen sink started huffing and puffing, making it wiggle and jiggle and giggle. The boy was really scared, shaking in his boots. Oh, there must be some crazy rhino croc living in this sewer coming to get me. Oh, Granny, come and save me. I'm scared. And again, no one answered. Poor boy. The wind was blowing outside. The window shut so suddenly that the glass almost flew out of it. What a powerful wind. What a scary noise. It must be a terrifying gator rhino flying, hunting around for its prey. Outside the window, the lightning struck and the thunder rolled. That storm wreaked havoc. That was the moment when the doorbell rang. The boy froze in fear. The monster was here. I will not open the door. Then he saw and heard the key slowly turning in the lock. There is no need to be scared. I'm a big boy. So he grabbed the room, all ready to defend himself. The lock clicked. The door creaked. Who was standing in the doorway? His granny. Hello, my dear boy. I brought some tasty treats for my favorite grandson. Come, my darling, and have some nice snacks. She took out of her bag and put on the table cookies, a bunch of strawberries, bananas, and a vanilla ice cream. His granny even managed to get him some chocolate-covered tomatoes. Oh, I was so worried about you because I left you home alone. You didn't even get scared of lightning and thunder. That's right, granny. I wasn't scared at all. The boy told his grandmother, all happy, sweeping away the tomato he had smashed before. I thought I should help you out with cleaning. Why should I be scared? I'm a big boy. And before his grandmother had a chance to disappear again, the boy quickly wiped out that red spot off the wall. Grown-ups have a lot to do, in the house and outside too. If you're left at home alone, don't ever moan and groan. 
doing homework and chores will kick the fear right out the doors. You should pick up a mop and broom, do some cleaning in your room. And it is not okay at all to throw tomatoes at the wall. So, so, so. Where could all of the cartoons be hiding? Hmm. Let's start an investigation. Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's look for cartoons to pick. I will press this microphone. Masha and the 